Hi, and welcome to our presentation on Romex Isotech Anchor Displacement System. For over 30 years and now in 27 countries, Romex has been a globally successful family business with excellent and award-winning products specializing in jointing material, bedding and displacement protection, as well as aggregate binding for both the public and private sector. Innovative solutions, permeable and sustainable systems, secure projects, as well as ongoing sales of segmental paving. By avoiding the issues and ongoing maintenance, we are a reliable industry partner and provide digital and on-site training for the renovation and redesign of all types of paving areas with Romex products that have been tried and tested millions of times. Romex is pioneering in the field of displacement protection for slabs and pavers made of natural stone or concrete. Years of development work with experts from the road construction industry in Europe make our system solutions unique in their kind and offer the best protection. In order to secure particularly stressed traffic areas and to prevent displacement, the Isotech product won the Innovation Award in 2014 at a national landscape show in Germany. Here's a quick note from the inventor of the Isotech system. I'll just play the video for you now. Dear colleagues in the USA, I didn't write a text on anchor technology. I had my little text read by computer voice. I hope everything is well understood and now a good conference and a lot of interesting information. My name is Harold Bow. I am 72 years old and I have worked for almost 30 years in the road design. 13 years I have worked in the research organization for the road construction. Here today is my little statement on anchor technology. The Romox company has developed an extensive portfolio of anchors for the German road construction industry. In Germany, Romox determines the market with this technical innovation. In 2014, Romox received the International Award for Landscape Design in Nuremberg. Many projects have already been equipped with this innovative technology in Germany. The new German airport Berlin, the center of Berlin and on the North Sea island of Bork and these anchors have been used. These were all important major projects. Important. In these projects there were no more displacements due to traffic. They are practical and require little time for installation. Romex. Anchor technology protects the stones and slabs against displacement. Romex anchor technology also protects the joint material. Thus, Romex anchors have a double protective effect. Since many projects in Germany were shifted without anchor technology, these anchors can also be used for repair. Thus, surfaces can be stabilized again even in this situation. The many possibilities are very well described in the technical documentation of the company Romex. Good technical installation drawings are available. Since 2014, these safety anchors are required in the German regulations. The architects, engineers and contractors must work according to these documents work. The German road construction thus wants to avoid this damage. This technology can be used well for American construction methods. Romex will be happy to answer technical questions about anchor technology. Isotech, kind regards. Thank you to Harold for that note. So here on the screen, we have a section detail showing what was a classic Roman road construction method. And for the most part, things haven't changed too much. However, if we go to the next slide, what has changed is the types of loadings that we're facing these days. So back in those days, it was horse and cart people mostly. And now we have sometimes unexpected, but certainly much heavier traffic loads with large trucks, tires turning, and those kind of forces on the surface. The ZTV plaster has been enforced with a recommendation on displacement protection. This translates to the Research Society for Roads and Traffic in Germany, a non-for-profit to research methods for roads. The main objective is the preparation of technical regulations for the entire road and traffic sector and the further development of technical knowledge. And these have now adapted the Isotech anchor system as part of their documentation. So the problem that we face uh, are very destructive forces at work. So these include static forces, thrust and shear forces, 10 ton plus axle loading, as well as braking forces. The other thing, as the slide we just showed you a minute ago too, is unexpected loading. So here's an example of a large crane truck, part of a fairground setup that's accessing this plaza. Now this plaza may or may not have had the right planning in the beginning. Uh, maybe people didn't foresee that this was gonna be a problem, but that doesn't affect how the paving surface performs. 
it will result in damage if it hasn't been planned for accordingly. These kind of unexpected loads are not limited to, but can include event and food trucks, delivery vehicles, waste disposal, and we have a saying at Romex that essentially where vehicles can go, they will go. So it should be planned for vehicle access. Classic problems that we commonly face. Um, it's very important with interlocking concrete pavers that not only the joining media stays there, but that they have displacement protection. So here are some examples of what we can commonly see where maybe the jointing medium has been removed or, or washed away. Uh, the pavers are then able to shift around, especially under heavy vehicle turning forces. Further to that, a few more images on the screen, ultimately leading to, to lift and relay and full replacement, which is of course costly and invasive. And on the far right there, you can see an example of stones that have just been rattled around and ultimately uh, damaged by, by movement and not being securely fastened in place. At Romex, we can help you in the planning or engineering phase with our consultancy, and we address some of the following topics. Stopping, steep gradients, heavy axle loading, as well as twisting, turning, or cornering of certain sites. In terms of the paver patterns, the ice stick anchor can work with any type of paver pattern, and we have a, an arrangement on the screen that shows that. I often hear that certain clients and customers are being restricted to perhaps herringbone or things, um, but the good news is with the anchors that the design intent can be realized, uh, and we have an anchor displacement system to protect that surface regardless of the paver pattern. The graphic on the screen at the moment is sort of showing an overlay of a streetscape and the red icons landing on the screen are showing how or where we would position the anchors based on traffic direction, stopping, gradient, etc. So this is part of that planning phase is really looking at thinking through, okay, what's going to access the surface? How, how are they going to turn? When are they going to break? And then place the anchors accordingly. So the anchors do not go across the entire surface, only at critical moments. In this graphic, we're showing uh, how we would plan for a steep gradient. So the image at the top with the wheel, I think this is showing um, where this vehicle would stop to enter the street. Uh, the purple lines or dots in this case indicate where the anchors are, and then we have the plan view below. So you can see that as the vehicle would come to a stop, these lines are actually getting closer together because the braking forces are increasing and there's more force on the pavers at that point. This graphic also shows it well. So here you have a car approaching a, a zebra crossing or a crosswalk. Um, we have the anchor placement or lines of anchor placement getting closer together as it reaches the crosswalk. That's because as the pedestrian enters, the vehicle then has to slow down, apply that braking force, and that's where movement can happen in the paver. In terms of how it looks for the uh, paver installer, these are the kind of detailed plans that would be provided. So each red dot indicates an anchor position. So in this case, it's the EAP2A type anchor. Uh, around the one meter sign here is where a stop sign might be. So that's where the vehicle is approaching that stop sign. Again, the lines get a little closer together, a bit more protection against those increased braking forces. And then as the car pulls away, gases, turns the corner, there's a sprinkling of anchors here which is working well to prevent the pavers being shifted up towards the yellow line, which may happen if they are not in place. In terms of how the anchors look and what they're about, they are extremely well made, steel, hot dip galvanized, that protect, protects against corrosion. And like I said, they are, they are awarded and there's been up to in excess of 800 projects in Europe that have been utilized with this system and all seeing great results to date. In terms of testing, uh, of course, we've gone through full laboratory testing and working with the kind of institutions that we have been, that's, that is critical. Um, the basic uh, point to make is that in using the anchors versus not, we see a 68% improvement in displacement protection or the lack of shift of the pavers uh, under forces with the testing machine. So it's really providing uh, a great amount of protection to those pavers against shift. In terms of the cost, the anchors are actually very fast and easy to install, but they are uh, low cost and I think great value uh, across any paving um, construction. So here you have an example, it's in euros. However, so the anchor, Isotec anchors for this system would have been around 1900 euros. The cost, however, to lift and relay this surface four years later would have been close to 27,000 euros plus potential legal costs. So it's really important 
um, from a cost standpoint and avoiding future maintenance that the pavers are secured in place because the cost of relay uh, can be quite high. I just mentioned easy installation. Here you can see an example. The pavers are simply tapped into the bedding medium um, with, with a dead blow. It takes seconds to install each one. Um, they're just tapped in and the, uh, the anchors on the bottom sink into the bedding layer and the flange sticking up goes against the paver and then the next paver is simply laid over that, secures it all in place. A couple more types of anchors being installed in different scenarios here with both a running bond and herringbone pattern. Then a couple of references. One of our key references in Europe is actually the Berlin airport. So a massive airport and a great project reference. Uh, this project is now quite a few years old and we're delighted to say that it is seeing no issue from shift and movement despite busy and heavy traffic loads. So the anchors are working fantastically well in this scenario. Similarly, in North America last year, we had our first installation. Uh, this was part of a, quite a large paving installation, which unfortunately after about 18 months, to two years was not performing well. There was lots of paver shift and unfortunately led to the lift and relay of the surface. So this was part of a pilot project. Uh, you can see the anchors being laid in, in a row here, how they look sort of with the paver, between the paver, etc., and the plan um, that was provided by the engineering department. Of course, working in conjunction with the anchors is the jointing product that goes in between. Uh, at Romex, we have a couple of options. Um, the best option that we have is the flex joint. So it's actually a flexible, permeable solution. So it works fantastically well with any paver type uh, with joints, joint widths from five millimeters or a quarter inch and larger. It's swept in. The critical part here is um, under heavy vehicle loading, if you have an unbonded paver surface and rigid jointing, uh, it can cause it to crack a little bit over time. So that's where the flex joint comes into its own. It's extremely resilient and will be there for years and years to come. Uh, even under the heaviest traffic loads, bus streets and things like that, up to 25 ton load rating on the flex joint. It's also really great for, for low maintenance. Quite simply, it just can be pressure washed. So unlike loose grit, uh, which is a common filler for permeable paving, um, this jointing will be there to stay and it can simply be pressure washed. It doesn't have to be removed and replaced uh, every year or two, which of course is very invasive and becomes costly in the run of time. So I'll just play a quick video here showing you the resilience of this jointing material to uh, the pressure washing. So to summarize, uh, we're here to help. If you have a paver project, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch and let us know. This system with Romex jointing and the ice deck anchors combination comes with our consultation, direction, on installer training if necessary, and most importantly, comes with our market leading five year warranty. So that is peace of mind for contractors, um, the clients and any sort of architects and designers as well, and will leave a fantastic legacy for your project. So don't hesitate to get in touch or feel free to check out our website, www.romexcanada.com or www.romex.us. Thank you very much for your time.